So funny story, I've had this rose bush beautiful in my yard for over 10 years and it's brambling up over this six foot fence. I'm nowhere near six feet tall, so I can't reach it. And I would have to drag out a ladder to get to the beautiful flowers, but that's never gonna happen. I'm a super lazy gardener. So I have these little orange bulbs that are growing all over the rose bush. And I kind of thought something was wrong with it. So I'd cut them off a little embarrassed until my mom came to visit. You may have met her in our hibiscus tea video. If not, check it out. She's a little bit of a garden whisperer and she mentioned my rose hips. What am I gonna do with my rose hips? Rose hips, I thought. My daughter confirmed, yeah, mom, they're rose hips. And I was super confused. I'm a nutritionist. I have ample research. I have studied the therapeutic benefits of rose hips, and I didn't even know they were growing in my own yard, and I had been throwing them away for over 10 years. I went to buy the dried rose hips today to show you how to make a, a tea from buying it in the store, and it was $25 a pound, and I just chopped these for free. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the benefits and show you how to make a super easy peasy rose hips tea. One of the many benefits of rose hips is that it can reduce arthritic pain. It's been used for centuries, whether or not they called it arthritis in the very beginning, but now there's a meta-analysis that covers three studies of over 287 people, rather small, but they consistently reported less pain and less inflammation from taking rose hips and I believe it's because it's really high in vitamin C and it reduces oxidative stress. We all know the impact vitamin C can have on your immune system, but it's also really good for your skin. Rose hips is high in vitamin E and vitamin C and there's been several studies with the lycopene, another antioxidant that can improve your skin, your eyes, and your immune system. In a 12-week study of 32 adults that were heavier than normal, they took 100 milligrams of rose hip daily and it significantly decreased their body fat, especially around the stomach, and that was compared to placebo. So if it can help, just make this easy, easy tea. In another study where they only took 40 grams of rose hips daily, it significantly reduced their cardiovascular risk. That's because it helped to lower blood pressure, it helped to lower cholesterol, and it helped with the fat metabolism. These are all things that help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and can benefit everyone. So I hope I've convinced you to at least taste rose hips tea. If you can't find it growing in your yard or in neighbors, they do have it dried in some of the health food stores. And anywhere that carries traditional medicinals, or you can find it online, has a delicious rose hips and hibiscus tea. It has a lovely citrusy flavor. I know you're gonna love it. And thanks for watching.